Welcome back to Everything Vape with Banana Chase. Now, first I want to say I apologize. This video was supposed to be uploaded about a week ago, but I sat down to finalize everything and to look over everything, and I was vaping on the mod, and I noticed something that really, really made me mad, and so I decided to scrap that video of high praise and awesomeness and make this video because I promised you guys that I would tell you the truth no matter what, 100% honest, 100% transparent. And when I watched that review, when I was reviewing that review before I posted it, um, my mind had changed after this incident. So I couldn't, I didn't feel right posting that video and then lying to everybody knowing what I know now. Now, um, this is still a review. So we are still gonna go down, check out packaging, come back up, we'll vape on it, we'll talk about it and uh, we'll send you on your way. And then maybe by the end of the video, you could tell me if I'm justified in being mad about this or if I'm overreacting. So let's go down, check it out, come back up. So as far as packaging, not real flashy, pretty basic, powered by the e heat chip. Um, if you're a visual buyer, not much to look at as far as packaging, but I guess the mods the visual part so no big deal let's get to the actual mod i've already taken out the mod this is where it would be come in a plastic bag you have your extra squat bottle They actually give you a clear one. They put a smoky one or a black one in the actual mod. And this is the clear or the white. We'll open that later. And this is really cool. They actually give you a piece of the stock that the mod was cut from. I thought that was really neat. And if we pull this out, we'll get to all of our cards. We got our battery safety cards. Don't use bad batteries. Got our QC card. We have our social media card, all their stuff. We have the user manual. And then of course we have the micro USB for firmware updates. And we have some tools, extra parts. This is really good. This is longer than what I thought it would be. Most of them are really short. So this is really cool that it was a little bit longer than normal. And that's it for packaging guys. Let's look at the mod. Now, here's the mod. As you can see, this is the showstopper. This is what looks good. The packaging don't look good, but the mod looks great. You can see this is the black or the smoke color, gray color, whatever you want to call it. And you have your carbon on the side. I know this is silver, but I wish they'd have changed these buttons to black. I'm okay with the silver for the carbon because it's advertising, but these buttons really need to be black. You have your squonk hole, and you have your top side, that's where you fill it up. What makes it a top side. Nice big hole to put juice in. You push it back down in there, spin it a little bit, close it back up. Like I said, these screws, they could have did them black uh, just to make them look more sleek. They did black right beside, see these, they're black. They can do those black, they could do them all black. So here's the, the mod guys, it's pretty awesome. Here's your bottom, 
You got your battery door, you got your magnet for the top. You can magnetize it to the bottom so you can fill up juice with the other hand. Of course, you got your battery door. It's a really, really solid battery door. I like it. Everything's plain and labeled. Now this part right here, it's a little scuffed up. I guess it's where it's rubbing on this. I'm not 100% sure what that's about, but let's take this out. This of course is your bottle. It goes up in there. There's the bottle. Put that back in. Put our batteries in. Close it up. And I love this. This battery door, this mod, there's no rattle. It's great, solid, love it. Really cool. The screen is insanely bright. I'll go ahead and talk about this now. You can't read anything with the brightness setting all the way up, not on video. I'll go ahead and show you all the specs of it. You have an extra set step. Uh, you have to click the bottom button before you can actually adjust the wattage. We can adjust the wattage all the way from five to 200 watts by half a watt at a time. Let's let it roll through back up to 200. And there it is, five to 200 watts. We'll go into our settings. Like I said, you can't see it. This, the brightness is insane. Uh, the lock and unlock, you can't. You just can't see it. So I'm gonna go in and we're gonna go ahead and adjust these settings because it's, it's too bright to see right now. You can't even see the menu screen, it's so bright. All right, now we got it all the way down on one. We should be able to see something now. There we go. One, two, three, click. Locks it. Can't adjust it. You still fire it, but you can't adjust it. And then one, two, three, clicks. We're back unlocked. Five clicks gets us into the menus, settings. We got our on and off. And then we have our brightness, which we've already showed you. It's insanely bright. You can see this thing on the surface of the sun. It's insanely bright. You'll have no problem seeing the screen. And of course we have our puff counter. We can reset that. Don't judge me on how many puffs is on there. All right, now if we hit the middle button at the bottom by itself, it'll open up this menu where we can switch through all the settings. For temp control, what have you. And then in the bottom right, you can change your titanium, stainless steel, all that stuff. But I stay on wattage, that's all I do, so that's where we stay. Bump it back down to where I can actually vape it at. Alright, that's it guys. Let's go back up and see how it goes. Did you catch it? Did you see why I'm so mad. I didn't pinpoint it, I didn't highlight it. I just wanted to see if other people could catch it. 
It's not something you're gonna see. If I'm walking through town, you're not gonna see it, okay? I understand that. But it's the fact that it's there. Now, before I get into all that, I have to give a shout out to my homeboy, Robbie. He's the one that hooked me up with this for my birthday. It's an absolutely wonderful mod. Um, I love the squonk capability. I love the mod, like, completely. Fits in your hand good. Or me, I got big hands. Fits in my hand really, really well. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. Uh, batteries don't rattle when they're in there. Huge plus. But this is what we're going to talk about. This is why I wanted to talk about it. And this is what's making me mad. You had the top side dual. Okay. It was the normal version of this. Had the regular paint on it. Solid color. Nothing fancy to look at. It was just the squonk. You know. Mod. Cool mod. Cool setup. Now. This. I have to think in my head or I have to reason within myself I have to assume that the whole process or the whole point of this mod is looks it's your whole advertising capabilities it's the same mod as the topside dual the only thing different is the carbon carbon fiber now if my whole advertising strategy is looks, you should have taken more care when doing these things. Now, I'm going to show it to you. I don't know how, if you'll be able to see it, I might be overreacting. But it's making me mad because how long until the whole mod looks like this? Now, let me show you. You're not probably not going to catch it. Do you see that right there? And you probably can't even see it. There we go. You see the little shadow right there. Right here under my finger. You see it real good right there. All right. That little bitty scuff mark. Just that little bitty spot set me over the edge. Because... Your whole advertising strategy, come check out this carbon fiber mod. Well, that's awesome. Carbon fiber, yeah. That's the coolest thing. I ain't seen nothing like this before. This is cool. So, naturally, I go to my buddy. I'm like, hey, you go get me anything for my birthday? Well, of course, it's your birthday. Hey, give me this. So he did. And I was happy with it. I'm still happy with it. Like I said, I'm beyond this now. I, it's, it's about function now. Because the looks are, are, for me, are gone. When something like that happens, the looks are gone. So for me, functionality, it's a great mod. It works perfect. You got the Yeehee board in there, perfect. Everything works right, fires off good. Love this thing. Let me rephrase. I love this thing for what it is without the looks. But, let me tell you how this happened. I was sitting on the couch reviewing that review to post it because I wanted to get it out there about how awesome this mod is. And then I sat there on the couch and I looked down and I seen a bubble. And in my head, I didn't think much about it. I was, oh, well, the little sticker's coming off. Let me just, you know, flick that little bubble. You know, maybe I can run it on out. And then it dawned on me. This isn't a sticker supposed to be carbon fiber so when i flick the little bubble a chunk come off on my fingernail and i was like wow so i i thought maybe okay the mod's a little dirty maybe that's a little little gunk you know built up i give it the benefit of the doubt so i kept you know just you know kind of easily just brushing it off with my fingernail and then i noticed that there's an actual indent in the mod I get from an impurity, I don't know, but now there's a little bitty chunk missing out the mud. Now, like I said, everything else is great. Um, I'd have probably did the front screws a little bit, you know, I did those black because the silver just kind of throws everything off. 
Everything else is good with this thing. The squawk works. I mean, the board is great. Everything is perfect about this mod. But the carbon fiber. Now, a lot of you are like, what's the big deal, man? Uh, it's, it's, it's one little bitty spot. You can't even see it. Look how big your hands are. You can't even see the mod when you hold it. I understand all that. But the fact of the matter is, it's still there. That spot is still there. And your whole advertising process is, oh, come get this mod. It looks great. Because if it wasn't a looks issue, I could just go with the regular one, topside dual, have a normal color. You can't see it anyway. I didn't choose that option because I didn't want that option. I wanted the carbon fiber. And now it has a chunk missing. No, and if you know me, a lot of people do. If you know me, I take very good care of my stuff. Especially when it's a birthday present. So, with the chunk missing, that ain't nothing I did. That's, that's all factory. Y'all messed up. Big time. Your whole advertising process is looks. And you messed up the one thing that was going for you. Let me spin it to you like this. Carbon fiber is on a, a bunch of of exotic high-end cars, okay? So if I was to drop half a million dollars, a million dollars, three or four million dollars on a high-end luxury vehicle, and I've got it parked in the shade, you know, I've got it parked in the garage, whatever, and I just decide to randomly go out, and we're gonna drive it today. And I go out, and whatever part in the car is carbon fiber, who knows, it's usually around the little vents. So if the little vent that's, you know, there has carbon fiber on it, and I notice a bubble on the carbon fiber, and I kind of flick the little bubble, and it starts scratching off in my hand, how mad do you think I'm going to be? Oh, Chase, it's just a mod. It's no big deal. What if it happened to a $3 million car? You would miss? Oh, it's no. That thing's going back. To the factory, y'all fixing this. I just paid three million dollars for this. No, this is a higher end mod. This thing isn't cheap. Is it worth the money? The other video I would have told you, yeah. Now, no. Go get the regular top side. Because who knows? It could happen to the whole mod. I don't know. And so then I have a whole mod that looks like this little indention right here, and it loses all looks uh, that's what i paid for was the looks the look of it and you failed at the look of it this video is a little long and i apologize but you guys i wanted you guys to know because i don't want you to go out and like i said i got this for my birthday if i had known that this was gonna have how this if, if i had known this was how this was gonna turn out i would have told him hey dude let's go get something else for my birthday. And I wouldn't have had him waste his money on something that's just gonna fall apart like that. That's ridiculous. I understand if I've dropped this thing, if I dropped it on concrete, if even if I dropped it on the floor, just the hardwood floor, and that happened. User error, right? I could justify that. This thing is better taken care of than I am. <laughs> This is ridiculous. This is, this is, a, you can't do this. Not when your whole advertising strategy is looks. Okay? Form, function, fits good in your hand. The board's great. The squonker's great. I had no problems with that. My problem is you marketed visuals and your visuals failed. That's like me advertising come see the biggest horse in existence. And you get there, and it's a Shetland pony. Not really there. Doesn't make sense. You advertised, oh, come check out this mod. It is the most beautiful thing ever. It's awesome. It's carbon fiber, high quality. And it's not. It bubbled. That's not high quality. Now, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You guys tell me. I, please, you guys tell me. Am I right? Am I wrong? I mean, come on. Am I justified in being mad? I think I am. But hey, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a like. Give the video a share. 
let everybody know you might want to think about it before you go get it. Now, like I said, everything else with this mod is great. I use it all the time because I've come to terms with having this ugly looking thing. Just, I, it makes me mad. I, it really does. I've come to, I've come to terms with it. I know it's there. Ain't nothing I can do about it now. But some of you out there that maybe have, haven't bought it yet and you're thinking about buying it, just know that this is something that might happen. Um, without warning, it just might happen. Because it was just sitting there. I went and got it. Put some juice in it. Noticed the bubble. I really don't even know how. I'm irritated. I don't even know how it happens. But it happened. It's over with. So, links in the description. How much it cost. Um, it's about 170 That's why I said... If you're selling looks, make sure the looks can handle, you know. And guys, I know, I understand. If it was dropped on concrete or something, I could understand that. This hasn't been dropped. It, <laughs> it's barely left my hand. I mean, I could understand if it was something like that. This Nothing happened, and it bubbled, and it peeled off. And for 170 bucks, that's not worth it to me. I can find something else to spend 170 bucks on. So, links will be in the description. Give a video a like, give it a share. Let the other vapors know. Might want to think about it. Now, I'm not saying the whole company's garbage. The top, the top side duel um, is great. If it works like this, it's great. <laughs> But the carbon, you might want to really, really think about it because that, that's an investment that I'll never do again. Um, but like, subscribe, share it. Um, we got more videos coming now that this fiasco is dealt with. Um, maybe I can get my mind right and get back in this because this really just set me over the edge. So thank you guys. I love you guys. We'll take a vape on it. Like I said, everything else is great. No arguments whatsoever. The squonk's real easy to push. Really, really easy to push. Everything else is great. And if it was not about the looks, this whole review would have went a different way. But that's literally what you're advertising is looks. Hey, carbon fiber, check it out. And you can't do it right. I'm going to shut up. I'm done. <laughs> like, subscribe, share the video. Let somebody know. Warn somebody. You know, even if they still go that route, and I'm not saying you can't buy it. Even if they still go that route, at least let them know what you're getting into. Because, and that, that's, uh, this is the problem. Uh, some of you may already have this mod and it's perfect. The problem in the vape world right now is inconsistency. Oh, this mod, this mod's great. It worked for me for four years. Might quit working after two. Or this mod's great. It's been working for me for four years. Mine quit after two weeks. Inconsistency is what is what is killing the vape community. We're not consistent with our product. Look at any coil, coal, coil, however you want to say it. I argue with people about that all the time. Look at any cool you get. Pre-built, you know, cool. Any cool you get for any tank or any pod mod or anything like that. Inconsistency. One of them's great. One of them lasts for months. The next one works for a week and it's burnt out. Inconsistency is what's killing the vape world. And that, I believe, I want to believe, is what is wrong here. Is inconsistency. You can't keep the same quality of product throughout the whole line so that's just my take on it i love you guys thank you guys i appreciate all of you subscribing keep subscribing
keep sharing the videos let everybody know about it we've got more coming up we've got the tango rda coming up next i love this thing there's no bad hiccups with that one so it should be a straightforward hallelujah everything's good with this video so keep it right here y'all stay safe stay foggy and we'll see you next time